so there are going to be seven of these apps and websites it's going to be a mix okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'm going to give a mixture of both the my I'm going to be talking about websites and apps I have used and I've come to a conclusion are very useful to both lawyers in Nigeria and law students or if you're just a lawyer that wants to find out things and how procedures are done or just general information about law practice or law related subjects in Nigeria so these are free websites very accessible and free apps that I'm going to be numerically arranging according to my favorite I'm not saying my um, arrangement is all encompassing, all I'm saying is I'm arranging it according to how I feel they are important to me because I've used them and I can tell they would help you to whether you're a lawyer or a non-lawyer just seeking information. So that which comes in in number seven is Nigerali.org. Nigerali.org, I'm going to leave the spelling down somewhere around the video for you to see so naturally.org is a website that gives you supreme court cases just supreme court cases as at today that i'm making this video and the cases go far back as 1909 yes and um just the judgments and the judges like a website will give you about a particular supreme court case in nigeria so that is my seventh um Favorite. So my sixth favorite is the National Open University of Nigeria's website. So many people don't even know about this website or somehow look down on it, but that website is quite helpful and interactive if you ask me. If you go on the website, I'm going to leave um, the link to the website somewhere in the video, down here in the video for you to see. The reason why I like this website is because I get notes for free on the website. They say I don't have a note physically or on my phone. I could easily just go there and read up something that I want to know or find out an information that I feel is going to be very useful to me at a particular point in time and the thing about this website is it is for free but the thing is you're not supposed to take their e-document and use it for monetizing purposes you're supposed to use it for um, information or educational purposes let's say you're educating yourself or you're educating someone else so that is it for that website i i hope you guys utilize it it's not easy for a website to have loads and loads of notes for easy reference to so whether you're a student or a lawyer you could easily just go through the website and take any notes you feel you might need my fifth favorite is legallyengaged.com.ng it's a website that gives free information and keeps you abreast about what is happening in nigeria something that will be beneficial to you whether you're a lawyer or a non-lawyer or a law student or a non-law student just things that would keep you very informed and abreast of what is happening in nigeria particularly in the niche of law you get free information about jobs that are being sought after they give employment notices both to those seeking employment and those trying to recruit so it's not only about giving information they also help you find employment or find employees and they also help you prepare a cv like how great can that be they help you prepare a cv just tell them to subscribe to that email and um, find out how things work on the website and voila you are you have created a cv for yourself due to their help my fourth best is icgl.com guys that website that website is amazing do you imagine that basically any law you think about can be compared to like in your country and in Nigeria wherever it is whichever con country like the website what blew me what blew my mind about the website is their ability to have this comparative analysis for you and you know as lawyers or law students it might come up in your project as a law student or some sort of research if you're a lawyer and you're usually we are usually asked to have comparative analysis with some things in our jurisdictions and some things in other jurisdictions so that app already um, that website rather already has all those comparative analysis ready for you to have like what more beautiful thing 
thing I, I didn't even know about it and they offer a host of other things they have various lawyers that post on their blog lawyers from every part of the world lawyers from Nigeria from India so the thing is they bring um, each lawyer from each country posts about a particular topic and what is um, prevalent in their jurisdiction and then you can just pick the country you want to compare these things to and they bring out everything for you but the laws and the frameworks that guide them the cases that will be very important to the comparisons and all whatnot so just play around the website but the thing about the website is that it is protected meaning that you cannot copy and paste from the website I mean it's free information yes it's free information so if you want to get anything if you want to get their information if you want to use it for something you have to I think you have to pay on their website just go on around the website and you would understand how to go about it so that's it about my fourth favorite Apple website website so my third favorite is the law pavilion so many people don't know but if you were called to bar last year or some years ago law pavilion gave free subscription to us lawyers what more glorious information do you want to hear i mean things you're supposed to pay for to get latest judgments particularly in supreme court and court of appeal these are things you pay to get access to we're giving to some of us for free so i don't know if you got the mail or if you know about it but if you didn't get it and you were caught back quite recently i say three four three two one year ago and um, last year you could check your spam messages it came during the national um the nigerian bar association election so the nigerian bar association election uh, nigerian bar association in their election together with the law pavilion owners they have both a website and an app the law pavilion so they both came together to offer free subscriptions to some of us which will be expiring next year so take good advantage of the opportunity app they have a website and an app too and there it's a website or an app that posts the latest judgment i mean down to today we are talking once a judgment is given in the supreme court it is downright on the website for you to have for free and you can copy and paste i mean just so long as you are giving credit to whom credit is supposed to be given to please let us not go and steal people's intellectual property to your lawyers or lawyers in the making or good nigerians whoever you are watching this so the good thing about the app as i was saying is that they provide free free um access to recently given judgments in nigeria particularly the supreme court of nigeria so that is it for my third best website slash app my second best is a website and it is lawpaddy.com guys if you have ever tried finding out anything about some sort of corporate practice or law practice or how things are done even a divorce like every information I, i'm not going to say the the um website is all encompassing but i would almost say that the website is all encompassing basically free information on basically any law topic you can think of is there and they just give you a step-by-step -step process on how you can go about it how to register a business how to remove a trustee and anything you want to google i would say look at this like it's like it's like a search engine for lawyers it's like the google for lawyers in nigeria and they give it to you for free and you can copy and paste as long as you're giving on the phone on your youtube as i was saying it's free it's updated and it's wonderful so low party whoever owns low party like you guys are trying my second favorite app you should go check it out down to my number one like my number one is youtube I feel not many Nigerians understand that YouTube is a search engine and the beautiful thing about YouTube is you get to see one-on-one -on -one how something is supposed to be done you're thinking about um, doing something YouTube shows you like sometimes reading is not enough or you might read on someone might not drop it in the language okay they say you understand the language but in the kind of way you are supposed to 
or you want to understand youtube just visually teaches you what you want to find out that's the beautiful thing about youtube and i feel people in nigeria don't really haven't really harnessed the beautiful opportunity of youtube youtube is an amazing app ever since i got into the world of youtube i just realized that basically anything i'm searching for even how to boil an egg is there with one million views so i mean as i was saying youtube is my favorite app i just like the fact that it shows you visually it teaches you visually what you might not understand just reading so whatever you're searching for youtube might just have it so that's it for my favorite apps and websites i hope you guys find it useful just ask if you have been useful to you don't forget to like share and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know the next time i post and please guys leave comments for me i'm ready to make videos for you so long as it's my ability you want to find out something i'm ready to make a video for you to for you to find out how to go about it and the proper way to do certain things so till the next time in my next video thank you so much for watching i appreciate everyone that has followed me so far and subscribed to my channel i hope you keep coming back thank you for watching to this episode see you next time bye